Hey guys, welcome back to the Yellow Brick Road. I am doing an impromptu in the back of the ambulance with my student Deja. I don't know how to turn this camera around. Maybe I can figure that out. Oof, this might be hard to do. Anyway, say hello, Deja. Uh, she's quite timid. Anyway, today we're going to talk about um, mass casualty incident, and we're going to talk about SALT triage. So SALT stands for sort, um, assess, life threatening injuries or life-saving interventions actually and then treatment and transport so of salt it's an acronym and I may append this with my blackboard like I normally do for yellow brick road but um sort you sort into three categories you have um, the walkers so if they walk get up so you have to do a voice triage I keep looking at the camera I don't look at Deja for a while let's get Deja in the picture um, you sort them, Deja, by anyone in the sound of my voice get up and walk. So they get up and they walk. They go over there. If they're walking, we assume they're green, but they still have to be assessed, which is the next letter. So first you say, anyone in the sound of my voice get up and walk over here. Next thing you say is, if you can hear me, wave. And so you have walkers and wavers, and then you have the last category, which is non-moving. I call them willies, and I don't know why I call them willies, but so you have walkers, willies, and wavers. Uh, I'm sorry, walkers, wavers, and willies. Willies is they're willy jacked up, and they willy need your help. So you go to the willies, and they cute. You go to the willies, and once you get to the willies, you're going to do the assess. So in salt, the A is for assess. So assess is... Um, you're going to look, listen, and feel, and you're going to do that for 10 seconds. So what you're doing is you're working on RPM. R is for respirations. So when you look, listen, and feel, what you want to do is put one hand on their forehead, and as they breathe, you want to count their respirations. If the respirations is one or greater than five, then that's bad. So if it's one or greater than five, they're automatically a red. If it is between two and four, then it they are well they pass the R they need to go to the P so what is P do you remember P is peripheral perfusion and they say check capillary refill I'll tell you don't check capillary refill I'll tell you check radial pulses if they have a radial pulse they have a systolic of at least 80 so then you know they're good so if they don't have a radial pulse then the P gets them. So anywhere in R, P, or M, if they get flagged, they're a R, they are a red flag. So they're red or a priority one. So R would be respirations less than 10 but, or greater than, I'm sorry, less than 10 or greater than 30 in, if you were counting a minute. But we don't count a minute. We only count 10 seconds. So that would be 1 in 10 seconds or greater than four, which is five or greater. Um, if they pass that, if it's between two breaths and four breaths in that 10 second check, then you're gonna check for radial pulses. If they pass that, then you're gonna go to M, which is mental status. They don't have to be A and O times three. What they have to be is able to follow simple commands. Hey, wiggle your toes, wiggle your fingers, lift your leg up. If they can follow simple commands, and they pass the R, P, and the M, then if they didn't get up and walk, they're yellow. If they got up and walked and they passed the R, P, M, then they are green. So now we've covered the red. We're videoing right now. Don't you want in the video? No. <laughs> um, literally, um, if they pass the R, P, M, they're either yellow or green. Green if they walked, yellow if they didn't walk. And if they don't pass the RPM, they're red. So we color covered green, we colored red, and then we colored yellow. What we have not color covered is black. So if you open the airway, look, listen, feel, and there's zero breaths or zero pulse, then they're dead. You may reposition ahead and give them one more chance, but they are dead because this is a mass casualty incident. So anything greater than six six or more patients you need to do a formal mci and that's what this is what we're talking about with start uh, salt triage if they pass the rpm 
and they're a yellow, you yellow tag them. So you go to the willies first and do your RPM. Then you go to the waivers and you do your RPM. And then you have someone go to the walkers and do the RPM. And that is mass casualty incident with salt triage in 5 minutes and 20 seconds. Remember, Yellow Brick Road, PPE scene safe number of patients, MYNI additional resources, general pressure like those introduction, consider C-spine. Y'all be safe.